This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, hi all, good morning. Uh, this is Vivek. Yeah, yeah can, can you please let me know how many of you attend uh, a demo so that if any new persons, like if I find some much more new persons, just I'll give you the high level uh, description of this course. Okay, seems like only one person. Okay, that's fine, right? So how many of you are having some kind of coding background? No, we make nothing from end. Okay, fine then, yeah. Okay, so as part of this course, like we are going to be discuss Selenium with Java. So as part of this course, we are not going to be touch anything regarding the manual testing. Just we are going to be talk about the automation only. So the, any kind of manual testing scenarios we are not going to be discuss here uh, like it's going to be delay the course that's fine so here sitting uh, in Selenium with Java so no need to worry about the Java yes we are going to be discuss the Java from the very initial stage like how to install it from that point onwards we are going to be discuss so that's why if you are not having any coding background that's also very fine we are 
designed this course in that point of way that's why like if you are not having any coding background also that's fine just i'll show you i'll give you the i'll show you the scenarios how you can able to install multiple things prerequisites for our course so this course is going to be starts with the java yes we are going to be start with java then first 25 days we are going to be discuss about java only then we are going to be discuss each and every thing from the core java like how to from how to install like that then we are going to be do some practical examples along with the each and every concept what we are going to be cover then later we are moving to the selenium so our course will starts with the java so just core java is enough for our course we are not going to discuss any kind of advanced java so java which is required to the selenium we are going to be discuss just yes, core java is enough for that one so core java is nothing the concepts like what we are going to be discuss is like also what is meant by class what are the different types of variables what are the different types of data types what is a class what is a constructor what is a method like what is a local method what is the uh, what are the different types of methods we are having what is a wide method and non wide method then later what is the different methods different inbuilt methods we are having in string integer character then we are going to be discuss about the arrays then how to handle the exceptions like try catch block try catch finally block then like how to like oh, different scenarios in collections like we are going to be discuss list what are the different types of list and different types of methods we are having in list then set then map it's these all the things we are going to be discuss as part of this course yes. so how many of you like oh uh, so not from to, at least from tomorrow onwards please try to join from the laptop so that you people can able to do the illustrations and everything parallelly parallelly uh, in the class so that if you have any blockers we can have a time we can have a chance to re resolve it immediately this class itself so that's why please keep on uh, like please try to join from the laptop so that we can able to to do it parallelly so most of the people who are having the laptop might be they have installed java already but most of the times is coming by default if not that's also fine you can able to install that so things what we require for this one initial stage yes we are supposed to be install the java and we are supposed to be install eclipse so eclipse is a like let me share my screen first yes uh, are you able to see my screen yeah are you able to see my screen Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is my voice clear? Uh, yes, it is clear. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So, this is uh, like the application. What you are seeing here, this is an Eclipse. The code what we written here, this is a Selenium Java code. So uh, we used to write in demo. I'll show you. I'll show you it again. Okay. So this is an Eclipse. So Eclipse is nothing but an IDE. IDE is nothing but integrated development environment. So just like how we are having a Notepad, Notepad++ like that, we are having Eclipse. This is somewhat intelligent than those applications. So it's intelligent to write and execute the scripts in Java. So here we can able to create a project. We can able to create packages. We can able to create a classes. So it will give you the multiple features at the same time it will give you some suggestions also while you are writing see here like after writing something if you want to like whenever you have doing some kind of some kind of uh, spelling mistakes or we, we are not using correct case letters as these all the things like if you see 
just after dot i want to search what are the different actions available so see here it's showing the different actions what we can able to do on this one yes so like that this is an eclipse we are supposed to be install it it's a very simple lightweight software uh, so it will not like the first common question how much uh, um, what is the uh, configurations of laptop are supposed to be used so you can use very basic laptop it's not at all an issue you can use normal laptops uh, so which uh, just you are supposed to be install java and eclipse then later once we move to the selenium you're supposed to be install jar files jar file is nothing but java rk file it's very lightweight file just you are supposed to be download it and you are need to be configured into the your project that's it so no need to worry about uh, spaces or something else so it's very lightweight files you can use very simply so generally in companies you may in companies or otherwise if, if you see some other videos or if you see if you try to do it in local or if your colleagues are using if you, uh, they mm -hmm. might be using some different ides like how we are having the eclipse like the different ids will be there so IntelliJ is a one of the ID, one of the popular ID. So most of the most of the people are switch, uh, using these two, like in Eclipse or IntelliJ. Here, Eclipse is fully freeware. There is no licensing cost for this one. But if you are talking about the IntelliJ, in IntelliJ we are having two different versions: community version and Ultima version. So one is free version and another one is a paid version. So most of the features available in paid version only. So that is a paid version and Eclipse is a freeware. So most of the product based companies, even in my company, we are using the Eclipse only. Why? Because Java, Java for Java, Eclipse support is very good. Most of the companies are using that only. At the same time, most of the product based companies will use these type of freeware applications only. Until unless they are giving the good support. So some of the service companies, companies are using the uh, some kind of licensing tools to showcase them in front of the clients. So these are the pre these are the prerequisites you're supposed to be have to start with these scenarios. So as part of this, we are going to be used for first as part of this course, first we are going to be start with Selenium. So as in demo, I told like Selenium is a three versions we are having. So three different types of selenium versions we are having first one is selenium ide yes selenium ide is nothing but selenium integrated development environment that's a kind of add-on to your browser a simple add-on to your browser like i'll show you yes you can see here in my browser add-ons you can see this selenium this is a selenium add-on like you can able to see and you can able to add it like selenium id chrome extension Yes, so this is the add-on you're know, supposed to be add. I already added to my browser that's why it's showing as removed from Chrome. Like you are supposed to be added. Yes, if you add this Chrome, you can able to see your Chrome. Sorry, if you add it to Chrome, you can able to see this icon in your Chrome in bookmarks. Sorry, in add-ons. So in a, under extensions, still if you are not able to see, you are supposed to be do uh, some kind of settings here show extensions will be there yes you can go you can move to extensions manage extensions and you can ping that extension so that it's keep on visible on your browser yes so here what exactly it will do selenium id this is the first version of selenium ID, first version of selenium so basically we are having selenium id selenium rc selenium web driver and selenium grid so selenium id this is the first version of selenium so it's having a record and playback feature on this selenium ide it's 
was deprecated from the market in 19 sorry in, yeah 2018 then later again they introduced these chrome these extension again so before depreciation Sil selenium id is an extension only for the mozilla firefox browser later later they introduced extension for chrome and some other browsers you know, yes chrome for chrome and for firefox also so by using this so nowadays the selenium id is widely using in devops automation in some other scenarios so like say it was automation some other scenarios so by exploring the selenium ide you people can able to understand basics nature of selenium how it can able to interact with the elements in a page like you can see here just i'm clicking on the selenium id icon yes whenever you click on the icon as the first time it will ask you to create a project or something like record a new test in a new project yes i can choose it but because i don't know what are the projects i'm having i'm not i'm not using this for any other purpose just only for the demo yes so here it's asking for the base url so base url is nothing but the url of the website which you want to record the actions yes i want to record the actions on this browser oh, sorry on this application yes it, selenium itself is open a window here so now i'm going to be you can see you can see here selenium id is recording you can see that pop-up so earlier that pop-up was not there like before deprecation after that they introduced it so i want to enter the admin username as an admin already they gave here then password admin one two three that's it now i'm going to click on the login yes, that's it yes i clicked on the leave there that's why it's yes now i'm clicking on the admin yes So see these all are the people just i'm maximizing it so these all are the employees list of employees we are having just out of that just i'm trying to search the employee with the user role then click on the search yes now only ess employees are displayed so that's the action i recorded then i don't want to continue my recording just i want to stop it you can go there you can click here you can have a button just click on stop yes when you stop it's asked for the test name is ask you to name the test so here while we are started the recording while we are click on the new project new project and record the test it's ask you for the project name then it will ask you for URL base URL that means the URL on which application you want to record the actions then later now at the end of the test when you click on the stop button it's asking you the name for this particular test yeah that means a project may have a number of tests right like that we are having a name we are going to be assigned a name for this one okay so you can see here we are having these three scenarios okay before going to that i'm going to run it first yes i will if you want to run yes first one thing we are supposed to be we are logged in right you are supposed to be logged out i'm closing this browser yes just i'm clicking on the run the test 
it's opening the browser it's launching the url it's entering username and password click on the login button yes you can see now it's going to click on admin now it's going to select the user role might be it fail now still is trying to find the input or some element it's not identifying that why because this pop is there right might be that is the reason yes so all the tests are you can see here these all the actions are executed properly like you can able to enter the you can able to enter the username password then you can able to enter click on the sign in button these all the actions did properly but here it fail while it's clicking on the selection pop selection drop down because of locator issue it's telling clearly why it's failed element founded with the secondary locator x path to use by default update the test steps to use it's telling you why it's failed and what is the solution for that too also yes before going to that as you can see here one more scenario we can have so initially it's in a fast now i can make it as a slow you can able to adjust the execution speed also now i put it in medium yes you can see now i'm clicking on the exit run current test now it's opening the browser you can see that I interrupted the execution. Yes, you can able to see. So that here the slowness you can observe, like that we can able to adjust the speed of the execution also. Okay. Before we are going to be discuss the reasons for the failure. Yes. First, I'll tell you what are the actions is it was recorded and we how what is meant by this command, what is meant by target, and what is these values. Yes. Okay, so what happening here is open. So first command is open. Open is nothing but launch the browser, launch the browser along with this URL. So what it's open target is web index PHP authentication login. So exactly you can say this one. So it's open base URL along with the this extension. That's it. So command is nothing but the action what it did. Target is nothing but the address of an element on which element it was that action was executed. Value is nothing but any kind of input you pass from the input from the external sources. Like set window size. See here. What is the action? Click here. Command is click. That means I used to do click or click where i used to do click on the target where name equal to username yes you can see now so initially while i'm trying to log in to make sure i'm entering on the username field to make sure that just i used to click here that action was recorded the action was clicked and target equal to target is name equal to username so what is meant by target what is meant by target Yes. So, target is nothing but the location of an element 
or that address of an element on in this entire page on the entire page so like selenium is not that much an intelligent selenium just can be able to do the actions based on your instructions that's it right so here while we are asking the selenium to do some work we are supposed to be tell where it need to do and what is supposed to be do so what it's supposed to be do click so as of now we are recording this one or otherwise you can write these scenarios also. if you want to add a command you can add the command you want to add the command you can click here and you can change the commands also so here command is action what you want to do as i want to do click action yes you can select the click i want to do some type action yes you can select the type so you want to do the click action so that's why you are asking selenium to do some kind of click action that's it's fine so on which element selenium supposed to be clicked that's also you are supposed to be tell right if i ask selenium please go and click on the username but username field selenium is not able to understand that why because it's not that much of intelligent you have to give clear idea about the actions what it's supposed to be do and where it's supposed to be do so if i ask someone layman to open the browser oh, then enter the username then obviously even though he is a human being he is not having any knowledge about that that's why he are not able to do that if you sit there and if you ask them if to enter the username by showing that username fail then he can able to right exactly like selenium also while you are working with selenium you are supposed to be tell what action is need to be do yes i am telling i am asking selenium please do click action that's right so where is supposed to be do yes so as per my requirement is supposed to be do on login but sorry supposed to be do on username field how i can able to tell selenium to do action on username field yes we are supposed to be pass the address like how we are writing an address on post letter like that we are supposed to be give the address of this particular field out of entire this space then we have to pass that to the selenium so that selenium can able to identify that element out of all these elements present in the page okay then how i can able to know as so as of now this was a recorded script there is no pain for me just i did the actions but sometime later if i want to change something else if you want to write my own commands if i want to find find out the address how i can able to do from my end yes this is a very very important scenario as an automation engineer you are going to be identify and writing an address writing the locators as part of your daily life yes in your entire daily life you are supposed to write the locators for the elements yes so selenium ide is giving you these locators in the curtain playback mode but in selenium web driver we are supposed to be right yes. we are supposed to be right that so selenium id we are not going to be used in our real time as an automation engineer you are an automation engineer if you still on rely on selenium id if you want to use this one it's not make sense it will not give you that that's why even selenium you are not going to be used any more in selenium id in your real time why because we are going to be work on selenium web driver then why we are discussing about this one why because the basic scenario the the basic idea behind the things are same that's why just i'm giving a high level introduction to these scenario these things to understand if you introduce they may ask like if you have you are having four years of experience like if you are climbing like i'm having two or four or six years of experience as if you have you are having four years of experience did you explore selenium id anymore Yes, you are supposed to be. We are not using, but as an automation engineer with Selenium with Java knowledge, we are supposed to have this knowledge. At least some kind of introduction is needed. That's why I'm showing this. Okay, so how we, I can able to identify this one? Yes, that is called locators. Those are called locators. How to write a locator? So in locator, 
first I can tell you that if you want to identify a username field you can go to that username field and just click on inspect click on inspect so that means you can see it open on developer mode this developer mode is going to be have an HTML code for this entire page so out of that one particular tag was highlighted here in blue color you can see that so this is a tag which is representing this particular your particular username box so that's why whenever I mouse over in this particular tag you can able to see this username field is highlighting yes now we can discuss about what are these other things yes so here the first word what you can able to see in each in every tag that means here so less whenever you see less than symbol that means the tag starts from that whenever you can see this greater than symbol that means your tag was ending at that point that's it okay so this is a starting point and this is an ending point you can here this is the starting point this is an ending point okay then later after starting point immediately you can able to see one word here this is an input here this is a div 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 here this form here this is script like that you can able to see one word immediately this lesson symbol that word we used to call as tag name so that is a name for this particular tag so here this tag name is input tag names might be a duplicate there is no restriction like that it should not be duplicate you can use a unique tag names there is no restriction not like that so it's based on the front-end developers design methodology like if you see this tag is having tag name as input why it's having an input why because this tag is representing this field this field is expecting some input from the user that's why it's asking this tag name was input okay then later it's having you can able to see here class your name placeholder out of or something else so these all the things we used to call it as an attributes attributes like how like if you if you take an example of a student so this is a student name in here tag name is a student name and this class and everything is representing the attributes of the student like this class what he is studying roll number user id um, student id number father name section medium yes these all the things how different attributes we are having for students like that we are having here so input is a tag name and here class name placeholder these are the attributes so here class equal to something you can able to see in double quote here name equal to something you can able to see in double quote like that placeholder equal to something in double quote so these all the attributes along with the values along with the values like class value equal to this one this name value equal to username and placeholder value equal to username yes so selenium can able to identify an element by using these attributes by using these attributes class name placeholder and out of box something like that so different attributes might be can here you can see type at type attribute name attribute like that but one thing while you're working with the selenium selenium not able to identify an element by using all type of attributes available just the selenium can able to identify an element by using name sorry uh, id here we are not having id attribute some other things might be I'll show you later by using an ID attribute Yes, it's going to be identified an ID attribute, then name attribute, class attribute, and link text attribute. Yes, 
selenium can be able to identify by using these four attributes only directly so either either id or name or class or linkest if some of the tags not having any of these four attributes if some of the tags is not having any of these four attributes then how i can able to identify yes we are having some alternate for that that is called xpath and css we are not going to be discuss anything about these two right now yes, we are going to be discussed about these two as part of selenium discussion of the completion of java so by using these four attributes we can able to so here it's having it's not having id attribute but it's having name attribute right yes exactly here name equal to user name that is a attribute to identify this particular tag even selenium id also is same name equal to user name then after after i click on this username field to focus i used to enter username as an admin so i used to enter that action is type action yes i used to type that also recorded on the same element your name equal to username and value what i entered as an admin then i click on the password i used to enter the password as an admin one two three so here the values are the inputs we are passing from the user end targets or the addresses of the element comments are the actions what we did so these three are very very important we as part of selenium these three we are supposed to pass as an inputs while we are working with the selenium web driver in coming days so this is a very high level of selenium ide that's enough we are not going to work anymore on it just i will show you like how we are going to be how selenium is going to be work yes so any questions from anyone as of now anyone is having any questions no right okay so next class we are trying to install all the softwares like the search selenium eclipse or uh, please try to log in with your machines like working machines we are where you are going to be practice so if you are attend from the mobiles or something else you can you are not able to do it parallelly sometime later you may doubt you may have any doubt like again it's taking time to resolve so if you are join along with the laptop so that through the laptop so that we can able to do it parallelly we can able to install it yeah that's it from my end for today so this is the first time just i want to show some high level scenarios only that's it from my end so any questions from anyone Vivek, uh, this is Lavanya. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. Um, can Lavanya you hear me? Is... Yes. Now I can hear you. Please. So, um, I joined a little late. Um, so hopefully the recorded section is available, right? Yes. They will share the recorded sections. Okay. Okay. Uh, Directly, we will share uh, with your email ID. Okay. And um, so my understanding was that. We'll start with the core Java to understand the concepts. So I thought that's that is mandatory yes. to know before starting this Selenium, uh, like you know, this uh, scripting. Um, yes. Okay. So we will start with the core Java concepts itself. Yes. From tomorrow onwards, like uh, tomorrow also is kind of some kind of installation a session only. Uh, yes uh, we are going to be starts with a very basic level how to install the java from that point we are going to be start uh, next 20 to 25 days we are going to be discuss the java along with the practical examples then later we are moving to the selenium oh, okay. once selenium completed then we are going to be discuss the test ng then later we are going to become we are going to be design a framework okay so that is the concept of this course Yes, after that we have any time, then we are going to be discuss BDD also like Cucumber, how high level scenarios of Cucumber. Okay. Yeah. 
It sounds good. Yes. Uh, any other questions from an? Yeah. If no more questions, yes, we can drop off. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you, Vivek. We'll see you, Thank you. tomorrow at yeah. the same time. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Vivek. Thank you.